This video is going to introduce you to a number of different sampling methods that we can use to gather a sample in statistics. Now, there are many different methods that you can use to take a sample from a population. We're going to focus on five of them. Uh, the five we're going to focus on are a simple random sample, a stratified random sample, systematic sampling, convenience sampling, and a voluntary sample. A simple random sample is a sample selected in such a manner that every possible sample of the same size is equally likely to be chosen. So for example, let's say we have a population that has 50 people in it. We want to take a simple random sample of size 10 from this population. What we can do is we can assign every person in this population a number between 1 and 50. A simple random sample is basically writing down the numbers from 1 through 50 each on their own little slip of paper, putting those slips of paper in a hat, and pulling out 10 of them. So if we do this process, and we pull out 10 numbers from the hat, the simple random sample would tell us that we're going to sample people 2, 13, 17, 19, 29, 31, 35, 37, 44, and 50. There's absolutely no bias involved. We're literally just putting these numbers into a hat and pulling 10 of them out at random in order to choose our sample that we're going to use. A stratified random sample is a sample that's collected by dividing the population into separate sets. These sets are called strata, and these strata are completely disjoint from one another. There's absolutely no overlap, so a person who shows up in one stratum cannot show up in another one. At this point, we draw simple random samples from each stratum. These strata generally have different characteristics, which is the reason that we're interested in doing a stratified random sample. We want to make sure that every group is represented in our sample. For example, let's say we're working with the same population of 50 people, but we know that there are 30 males and 20 females. What we want to do is take a random sample of size 10 by randomly sampling 5 males and 5 females. This guarantees that both genders are going to be represented. We're not, we don't have the possibility of sampling 10 males or 10 females. It guarantees that both males and females are represented in the sample. What we can do is divide them up into their two separate groups. For the males, we assign each male a number from 1 to 30. For the females, we assign each female a number between 1 and 20. We put the numbers from 1 through 30 in one hat, and we randomly select five of them. So in this case, the males with the numbers 3, 7, 18, 22, and 29 are selected for the sample. And we do the same thing for the females. We put the numbers from 1 through 20 in a separate hat and select five of them. So in this case, females 4, 6, 9, 16, and 19 have been selected for the sample. This is an example of a stratified random sample because we first broke it down into the two strata, and then we took a simple random sample from each of the two different groups. A systematic sample is a sample selected from a population according to some pre-specified rule. So for example, let's say we're working with our same population of 50 people, and we take a random sample of size 10 by sampling every fifth person. This every fifth person is the rule that we're abiding by in order to choose our sample. So think about it this way. We have our population, we give everyone a number from 1 through 50, and we have them line up. After we line them up, we have them walk through a turnstile. We let the first four people go through, and then the fifth person who comes through, we stop them, and we decide to survey them. We allow the next four people to go through, people six through nine. Once we get to the tenth person, we stop that person, and we select them for our sample, and we survey them. We repeat this process. We let people 11 through 14 go through, 16 through 19, 21 through 24, and we continue to repeat this process until we have sampled every fifth person in our population to get our sample of size 10. So anyone 
who had a number that ends in 5 or a number that ends in 0 happened to be selected for this sample. A convenience sample is a sample where the subjects who were selected were the easiest ones to access. For example, we have our 50 people, and we want to take a random sample of size 10 by sampling the first 10 people from the population who are encountered. So we can do a very similar thing as we did before. We give everyone a number from 1 through 50, we tell them to line up, and the first 10 people who walk through the turnstile are the ones who we decide to sample. They're the 10 easiest ones to access because we're encountering them first. People 11 through 50, we just tell them to go home. We don't need them. The final type of sampling method that we have is a voluntary sample. A voluntary sample is a sample where everyone in the population is offered the opportunity to participate, but the sample is made up of only those people who choose to take part. So for example, with our population of 50 people, we take a random sample by asking all people to participate. Maybe we give them a phone call, maybe we send them an email, we ask them to fill out a survey, and they're by no means required to take part, but we accept any and all responses from the people who do respond. So in this case, everyone gets the email or everyone gets the phone call. We can divide up the people into willing participants and people who are unwilling to participate. Our willing participants are people 2, 3, 8, 10, 12, 19, 21, 22, 23, 27, 30, 34, 41, 44, and 49. The other 35 people are the people who are unwilling to participate. So all of the willing participants, they fill out the survey, they send in their answers, and we consider those 15 people our sample. 